I don't know. I don't know if one's in here or not. Uh, like one of the ones I did, there was already you know, that we're gonna look at. There's already a, a, a master bath to just redo it, and then the other one that we'll see was a half bath, and I made it a full bath. So you know, it's all all about trying to bring it up to um, a more modern feel. Like this doorway right here, um, you open that up as wide as you can, even if you have to put a header in. Uh, because houses just aren't made that way anymore. They're not made like these are compartmentalized. And, uh, so you need to open it up. And, uh, I have a question about that. Yes. Are you, I'm completely used to this. So, um, just by looking at the walls, is there a way to tell which ones are load bearing, like knowing which way they are in line with the roof or the floors? Like, like I would want to knock this whole thing down, but I wouldn't know if that's load bearing or not. Well. Um, generally, you can uh, sometimes you can look at the thickness of it, uh, but you really can't tell until um, you go in the attic. You can actually go in the attic and see if there's um, joists, if the joists meet at that, and if it's, if there's any, if there's more than one piece of uh, uh, more than one two by four. If there's two, mm -hmm. it's usually a little bare. Mm -hmm. And then you can. But let me let me just say it. this. You probably need to get someone who really knows what well, they're right, doing, right. Uh, whether it's an architect or a contractor. Because a lot of times you might think, you know, even I've been wrong, but I don't look that hard. I have people that work, work that can figure it out for me. Um, but generally, I'll, um, I'll open that up as much as I can. And, um, you know, just try and modernize it. Uh, I bet you there's probably hardwood under here that, that looks pretty good. Um, but the thing that happens is people leave the windows. Like the windows, you don't have to replace. Those are actually good. Um, and, and that's what I'm saying. This is like an easier rehab. Not easiest. I mean, you know, getting wallpaper off is a task. But <laughs> the task. ceilings are in good shape. It's a lot of time for Yep. And there's no, it uh, appears to be no leaks. Um, what would you estimate the rehab on this property? Four. Four thousand. Every house I've done on here is going to be between 40 and 60. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the reason, one of the reasons why I like this neighborhood because I know without even really looking um, how much it's going to take um, to fix it. How much? He said 40 and 60. Is there a certain dollar amount when you go to house? Let's say you're in a different area in Baltimore. Is there a certain amount of contractors say 21 dollars per square foot so that we'll have a ballpark? No. See, you know, uh, the thing is when, you know, I have a, the way I set up my team, I have a project manager, then I have two guys that work for me, he directs them. He doesn't even really do work for me, he does some work for me, but he comes and goes, he goes and does other projects, but as long as he's watching my guys to make sure they're doing the right thing. So what I pay is a lot less than, you know, if you use the contractors, because contractors are right, trying, to make, trying to make their money, yeah. and they tend to be slower. So I bring in subs, I have a hardwood floor sub, HVAC, plumbing, electric, um, but all the other stuff, tile, uh, drywall. Um, I, I have a, actually have a framer that comes in too. I have a general contractor, he does the same with the subs, because he's just yeah. one man. Yeah, but you gotta watch out for that. Because he doesn't, that, you know, you gotta make sure he knows what he's doing. Okay. Because I have my guy, my project manager, who knows what he's doing, right. so he watches and make right. sure. Okay. I mean, it's very important, especially when you start pulling permits. Yeah, he does. And in, in Prince George's County, they just went to the 2012 code, which is really a nightmare. Mm -hmm. So, um, the biggest is that the if you do a basement, mm -hmm. you need to do two by six walls with 20 R21, I think, R21. Okay. It would used to be four by, uh, two by fours with R13. So. That's the insulation? Yes. So that, you know, it's like, uh, you know, pretty soon there's not gonna be any fresh air going in out. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be jammed up pretty, okay. pretty good. So, um, you know, real quick, uh, you know, this is, this is an easy room. I mean, there's no holes in the wall. I mean, the wallpaper, that's a pain. Uh, the kitchen, if you guys look at the kitchen, it looks decent, right? Yeah. But it's got to go. I mean, none of that stuff, unless you're doing um, uh, uh, a rental, you know, that, that, that's got to go. You know, it's, um, uh, and a lot of people say, oh, the house is not that bad. But, you know, they're, they're looking at it from, you know, oh, we might have it. Okay. You know, 
some burgundy carpet and stuff. So, <laughs> um, so let's let's look right back here in the, in the master. They have them. I didn't actually come back here. <laughs> This is this is a, this is a great house to do. It's already got a full um, a full bath in the master, and it's it's actually a good size. It's got good closet space. These are all the things that people are looking for. The room itself is in good condition. Um, who asked if there was mold? Yeah, I was asking if that stuff. No, no. You know, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but. See, this is a drywall house too, so it's a lot easier to work on versus uh, plaster. Um, there's, I, you know, when you do any changes on plaster, it's easier to rip the whole wall down than it is to patch it because in this area you you have um, you have slats with plaster, then you have drywall with plaster. On it. So, you know, that's about uh, three quarters of an inch. So, you know, trying to match it together, it's easier just to rip the whole fall down and slap up the drywall. So, uh, but this this house, I'm, I, you know, I have no idea what's going on, but it's it's a decent house where it's pretty much, you know, uh, demo and put back the way it is. Now the basement's a little rough, but you know, basements are easy to do too. Um, so, who's got money? How much is it? One forty three. What are the what are, yeah, what are they going for in this house? Um, I just, the last house I sold across the street, I sold for 280 Really? And I have one on the market now for 270 and so, what you know, size? Uh, larger, a little larger, but, you know, this is, I think, 1,100 square feet or something like that. Um, but, you know, you're, you're in that same, you're in a range, you know, these are all, well, mostly ramblers and quick basics. My average market time is 19 days. So, you know, it's. And who sells them? I do. I'm real estate. He's a relative. Mm. So, not that there's any secret to it. You know, they, they sell themselves. I, I do a good job. I don't cut corners. I don't, you know, you don't come in and see old baseboard or, you know, everything goes for the most part. Do you do hardwoods? Do you do carpets and bedrooms? Or, you know, hardwoods throughout? Kitchen. Okay. Top floor. Whole top floor. Okay. Carpet in the basement. So and then I'll tile the laundry room. If the hardwoods are de decent shape, you would fix them then? No. Nope. You know, because uh, the last two houses that I'm doing right now, they were in decent condition. You have some issues, um, and I, 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 the one that you'll see next had termites, um, which, you know, that was a. I saw the termites, but it was a lot worse than, than I would probably realize. When you start ripping stuff out, you're like, oh. So I had my guy, you know, he's like, you know, I, I went pretty far pulling off the plaster. I said, well, keep on going until there's no, uh, there's no chomping. I mean, they did a good job over there. The guy that, that uh, he, he, that's the house that he died. He was kind of a recluse, so he didn't. You know, he didn't really care. He didn't come out. He didn't really take care of his house. Um, you know, it, it was like, you know, everything in there. He just he passed away last year, two months ago. But everything that I could see in there was dated 1981. So mm -hmm. like after 1981, he like never <laughs> newspapers, magazines, everything. So uh, I think that the, the termites 